Before we begin this video, please click on subscribe, ring that notification bell and like, comment and share. Hello guys, what's up? My name is Ahidrag and I hope you subscribe. Today we're going to test the X900H capabilities using the VRR with the RTX 3080. So you, as you could see here, I've installed the Windows 11. I'm going to show you how the X900H runs with the VRR uh, mode. So as you can see here, the VRR mode has been chosen. Or enabled. I've I'm using the HDMI 3 port and I chose the VRR mode which enables VRR and disables local dimming. It also has the 4K120 mode. So yeah, let's do it. So the first game we're gonna try is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. The reason why is that because this game uses too much uh, graphics power and processing power to run its graphics and it makes my PC run at like around 50 FPS like minimum as you can see here from the options 4k DirectX 12 disabled vsync because we have VRR ultra quality everything set to high or ultra which is the maximum and I also set the limit to 120 but <clears throat> it never reaches that high full screen and all that stuff and uh, just to show you before we start how to enable the VRR so you go to desktop right you right click you get that nvidia thing no uh hold on not this one you basically this is the thing the nvidia control panel all right so yeah after you open the control panel you go to set up g-sync or free sync depending on your uh, GPU all right and then so yeah I enabled G-Sync right here G-Sync compatible I use this mo mode uh, you can choose any I, I recommend this one select your TV and you have to enable this otherwise it will not work and then apply so after doing that we go back to Canon Bridge of Spirits all right after enabling VRR now we can start Okay, so I'm using my controller. I'm gonna play one handed so, so, and I'm gonna show you how this runs. All right, so as you can see here, I'm running around at around like 50, 55, 60. The VRR range is from 48 hertz to 128 hertz for this X900 HTV, so it should work. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, it's running smoothly, no stuttering, no tearing, even though it's running at 55, 58, 60 FPS, it basically changing every single time, <clears throat> but still running smoothly, no matter what I do. still running how it should run with the VRR enabled of course and you can also see uh, like I'm gonna stand around here somewhere so I can pan like this you can see how it's not stuttering I'm moving slowly and there's no stuttering at all it's working perfectly as it should If you're seeing any stutters, it might be because YouTube does not support VRR or something like that. But to my eye, it's all working perfectly. So yeah, let's try another game now. Oh, 
All right, so the second game will be Cyberpunk 2077. All right, so this is the ultra ray tracing settings, maxed settings. And as you can see here, it's running at around 56, 59, like around, like in the higher 50 FPS play, uh, yeah. So, as I move around, and as I do stuff like jump, or like visit this store right here, or just move generally in places that are uh, that are surrounded by ray tracing stuff you can see that the FPS is dropping sometimes to lower 50s but it's still running smoothly no stuttering no um, screen tears just as you would expect <laughs> this game looks uh, gorgeous with ray tracing it's been a while since I've last played it so yeah let's try driving around all right let's go look It's all flawless around the 50s FPS with an RTX 3080 and an X900H. You get what you uh, paid for. Let's try to do some stress test, shall we? It will be trickier to do with one hand, but no matter, I'm gonna do it. I'm used. <laughs> it's tricky, but yeah, I can do it. I know this is the, not the most intense situation, but it is still smooth. It's, t it's like at 50 fps around those intense situations and still flawless no stuttering no screen tearing so yeah good bonus application the pendulum i know i have already done this before but some people might want to see it again with my phone's camera quality so yeah you can see how smooth it is with g-sync i mean i don't know about you guys but to my eyes it looks smooth i think my phone is not picking it up properly but if it is let me know in the comments below to my eyes it looks perfect no screen tearing no stuttering and yeah so that's it all in all vrr is perfect with an x900 edge and the rtx 3080 so whoever says otherwise um, i don't know about them i think the tv is broken or something so that's it everyone if you've enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and share this video with everyone that has x900 edge all right and have a good day so yeah as a reminder subscribe and ring the bell and all that good stuff about liking and commenting and sharing and goodbye see you next time